Hi folks, it's Brendan here and this series of videos I've been talking about how to make instant impact in your training programs. And we've covered some really cool stuff from defining the purpose of the program and putting it through the ringer, the intent you've got in training and also how you're utilising your warm up time. Well today I want to talk about another component that I think is generally poorly done or poorly understood in training. And it's this concept of, of work capacity. So for me, very often, and pretty much all the time with the athletes that I work with and the clients that I work with, the initial objective of my training program is to improve work capacity through a number of means. And the reason I want to do this is not because I have some kind of crazy expectation that I want every athlete to be really, really uh, able to produce crazy amounts of workload. It's not that. It's that to get the most from your training, we need to, to get the most from every single session. And if your athlete, your client or you are not generally fit enough to get through 60 minutes of pretty solid work, then you're never going to get the results from your training programs that you really want to get. So the first phase, the first block of training for my programs generally, not all the time, but generally, is about increasing the density in that 60 to 75 minute block of work that we're going to do. So I might get people in that can literally maybe do 20 sets of, of, of sub-maximal work over the course of a 60 minute session. Well, I want to increase that to 30 or 40 sets of sub-maximal work. That's a general fitness improvement. And what I've found over the years is that improving work capacity in this way means that strength comes so much easier and so much quicker. And we can then utilize our strength sessions even more and get more bang for your buck. And I'll be honest, the, the sessions, the athletes that I work with, I tend to not work with super, like purely strength athletes, say like powerlifters or weightlifters. I have worked with, with those populations in the past. But sports-based athletes, they need a work capacity for their sport. So it's specific to their sport as a, as a very minimum anyway when we construct these uh, higher density sessions like that. So think about supersets and tri-sets, density circuits at the end where you might do, say, three or four exercises for a 10-minute block and try and go as many times as you can through that. And, and other ways that you can increase density in your sessions. There's lots and lots of ways you can do that. But um, it will really help you to get results down the line. But from a strength perspective, sometimes you might take a small backward step in terms of the load that you're lifting right now to get a little bit more work in. But I'll take that any day if I'm getting a better quality output four, six, eight weeks down the line from my athletes. Because end of the day, guys, we're trying to develop people that can produce this long term. We're developing athletes here. And, and for many sports, it's specific to their goals anyway. So this is a, an instant impact, guys. Spend four weeks on developing a higher density type of session in your programs, and you'll reap the rewards down the line when you can demand more from an intensity and a load perspective and also just a general density perspective in all of your sessions, guys. So that's another instant impact. Have a go. Let me know what you think.